I've hit a gun show two weekends in a row now looking for a few things, and of course, uh, most of what I'm looking for I can't find. Uh, that gun show in Dillon was an absolute joke, too. I mean, it was $8 to get in. It was two dealers that actually had guns, and everything was so outrageously priced. I mean, uh, even worse than what you're seeing on Cheaper Than Dirt and all those other websites. Uh, the only AR-15 they had in the building, they wanted 3500 for and it was a used SIG uh, M400, uh, not even the enhanced model with the Magpul furniture. It was, uh, they're usually around 900 at Walmart, and uh, it had a little bit of crap added to it. I mean, it was all junk. It was just cheap UTG Leapers stuff, uh, but uh, I guess I'll show you some of the goodies I got. Uh, I got some of this stuff at Academy here. This is uh, a Mission First uh, single point sling mount. And I got the last M, uh, M4, M16, whatever, mag coupler. And I got one for the AK-47 there, too. And uh, I got this uh, nice uh, Kershaw Whirlwind, I think it is. Uh, this was on clearance for 18 bucks. It was a pretty nice knife for that. And then uh, I got a new uh, single mag carrier. Uh, this is pretty nice. It's so tight, I've had a mag sitting in it for over a week. Trying to break it in as I couldn't even pull them out when I first got it. Uh, this is a Tagua. Uh, matches the pancake holster I carry my Glock in pretty well. And yesterday I picked up this at the gun show. It's a lower part. It's got, I think it's a DPMS. Uh, it was 70 bucks. I was pretty happy with it for that price. I was going to buy another lower, but uh, the guys that I got them uh, new fr that new Frontier Armory lower from uh, about a month ago for 105 bucks out the door, they wanted 400 for them now, and they had a bunch of different strip lowers. They had a real nice uh, uh, Spikes Tactical I was considering buying, and then they told me they wanted 500 dollars for it, and it was just a stripped lower. And then uh, they had a uh, Armalite lower already all put together. They want 850 for it. I mean, absolutely nuts. And they had uh, quite a few ARs in stock. Uh, there was a Core 15 piston driven gun for 1900, and that really wasn't that bad considering uh, they had a, a DPMS Sportical for 1500. I mean, at least with that Core 15, it was only a few hundred dollars over the normal price, not three times the normal. And I stopped at Walmart coming back, and I got one of these five uh, hundred round boxes of forty-five. You know, only one they had, and a couple boxes number four shot twelve gauge. I got uh, a four end removal tool from that same guy. I got uh, that lower part kit from. I got the magazine well block and uh, the block to stick in the vise for the uppers. I picked up. Three P mags. I've never seen them in these packaging before. I, mean, I could have got quite a few of these there, but and they were thirty-five dollars or something a piece. I just I can't see painted. I don't care if they're back ordered. I got four of these uh, Colt twenty rounders. They're really nice shape. I don't know if they've ever even been used. I mean, they look pretty new. And these were uh, seventeen a piece. I think I was pretty happy with that. And uh, there's another guy I got these still in the wrapper. These are uh, Brownells uh, 30 rounders. And I got uh, from the guy these 20 rounders came from. These were 20 bucks a piece. These are a uh, brand new OK Industry 30 rounders. And I got three of these. They were in fairly nice shape for around 20 bucks a piece. These are more OK Industry mags. Uh, I mean, all this really was a little bit too expensive, but after that gun show in Dillon where they were selling P-Mags for $80 a piece and uh, worn out uh, military surplus mags that uh, all had the restricted law enforcement marks on them, so I know they weren't pre-banned. These ones here I think are pre-banned. I'm not quite sure how to tell, but I, I don't see the date code like some of the newer ones I've seen have where they would say like 0406, so I'm assuming that means uh, April of 06. Uh, I got a 10 pack of these uh, exploding targets for a 22 or a handgun. Pretty proud of this. Uh, probably paid a little bit too much for this too. It came with three mags. I don't know where dad put them. 
I mean, this is going to be his rifle, I guess. But uh, this was 750 bucks. Came with a 130 rounder and two 15 round uh, Smith and Wesson mags. It's got a a scope with the Moog, uh, Mooger, Ruger markings on it. This is 4x32. I don't know who actually makes the scope. Seems like a decent scope. This is a Marlin Camp 9. It's a Model 9N. It's a nickel plated model. Uh, the action is pretty nice on it. I haven't got a chance to shoot it yet since we just got it yesterday. And then uh, the weekend before, I stopped at that same Walmart coming back from that joke of a gun show. Uh, two hour drive there and back for nothing. Uh, but I got this as a Remington 870 Tactical. It was $340 at Walmart. Uh, I wanted a nice home defense shotgun. It was the only other shotgun I have. You know, it's got a 28 or something inch barrel and, I don't know, just an enormous old shotgun. So this will be a, a nice one for in the house. I'd like to get the receiver drilled and tapped. And I'd like to put the Wilson Combat uh, track lock sights on it. Uh, I guess we'll see. Maybe I should have just bought the version that already had the sights, but uh, the 340 bucks, whatever. I still think I might change out the stock here, or maybe put the Magpul furniture on it too. I don't know. I mean, it's a nice shotgun for 340 bucks. Uh, if you can find anything at these gun shows, I suggest you buy it while you can, especially if you can find a decent deal. I got this uh, Phantom Flash Hider too from uh, the same guy from the part, the lower parts kit, and these other tools. And another charging handle. And I think the charging handle was 15 bucks, and it was 20 bucks for the flash hider. So that guy, he still had good prices. There's, you could still find something. I mean, everything that guy had, the prices were exactly the same as they were before all this shit happened. He had a few more uppers, and he had a bunch of different Magpul stuff still, and uh, the whole pile of uh, the slide fire stocks. But. Uh, he was out of bolt carriers and a uh, few of the other things that I'm really looking for that I really, really need. And uh, the only bolt carriers I could find were from the guys that I've done a lot of business with before. I'm really disappointed in them and how the, all their awful gouging they're doing. Is they, had, uh, is they didn't have them with them. They had them at the shop, but they, were, uh, they said they were FN, full auto bolt carriers, whatever. I don't give a shit. I mean, what do those things normally cost? 150 bucks maybe? They wanted three hundred and eighty dollars a piece, and then they wanted me to pay tax and the money to ship them to me. So I, mean, I told them to stick them up their asses. I mean, that's nuts. I wouldn't pay that for both of them. 